So Libra, someone in the sentences. You guys are going to be going through conflict. But of course, being that Capricorn exalts Libra, it's going to be bringing some bullshit to it. You got Mercury in retrograde Libra. You got Pluto and Capricorn that just went direct. So it's like, goddamn, a whole lot of shit going on right now. But we're going to basically see areas where Libra, someone in the sentences need to be reacting, responding to learning. So you're going to be learning right now. What do you need to be learning with this moon and Capricorn for you Libra, someone in the sentences? What do you need to be learning right now? You need to be learning. How to deal with conflict right now. <laughs> Just fucking said it. So you're going to be dealing with emotional conflict right now. A person, place, a thing could be bringing this. Or you could be expressing this right now. When it comes to the way you feel about things and your expressions and shit. Could be at a tug of war. It's like a battle. It's like a fight. You got mad planets in Libra. You got the fucking sun in Libra. Which it falls here. You got Mercury in Libra. Retrograde. You got motherfucking Mars in Libra. It don't even like being here. So it's like, yeah, tug of war. So y'all Libras, y'all better be safe and protecting this motherfucker. Wrap shit up. Feel me? Wrap it up. Yeah, um, we're going to see why you got that car. We're going to see what you need to take power control before you leave it somewhere in the center. Of the What's needed to be taking power control? So you got the strength card, the card of the motherfucking day. Today, what you need to be basically doing is taking power control over your strength, your time, the shit that you're giving your time to, and taking power control. Yo, it's real crazy because this is the Leo card, right? The sun is in Libra. So you need to build on your inner strength right now. That's what you need to be basically doing. Build on your inner strength. Gonna be at. That's the card of the motherfucking day. That card and the star card. And of course, we're gonna spend. Where do you need to spend time to, towards doing this shit? Where do you need to spend time towards reacting and responding to the moon and Capricorn? Of course, taking power control over the shit. And that'll be basically towards your surroundings, aka emotional surroundings. Make sure your surroundings is matching your emotions. Make sure you got the chariot card. Find an inner balance, inner peace. And of course, this is the Cancer card. Cancer. So the moon is in Capricorn. So you need to be reacting, responding to nurturing and caring towards shit that's gonna help you bring balance in your life. Trying not to go to extreme limits. Of course, shit can shit, some shit can break down. Remember, it's a chariot card. So something could break down. If you look back towards the past, Mercury is in retrograde. Libra. So if you look back towards the past, Libra, shit gonna get fucked up. You also got Chiron and Aries. So it's gonna be able to basically bring past trauma towards the way you relate to people, places, and things. So if you look back in the past, the past is gonna bite you in your ass. I mean, so try not to look back to the past. Let me fuck compromising with the past. Kill that shit and keep moving. I ain't got eight plus five plus three plus seven. So you're dealing with a summer one sending Leo. So you need to work on your ego. Build your self-esteem up and you'll be right. That's all you got to do. Learn how to build your self-esteem up. When it comes to your emotional conflict, your inner strength, your surroundings, and your spirituality. Find balance on everything. Build that shit. You feel me? You could be at you only gonna leave this world once and you 